strangest places I have covered an event. Um, I'll say Russell Dietrich Park in Jamestown, New York. I really could have put the entire New York Penn League or most of my time in minor league baseball in that spot, Hagerstown, Maryland, Burlington, Vermont, Mahoning Valley uh, in Ohio. Um, it's just these are places that personally I don't think I would ever even know existed unless they sent me to call a baseball game. And some of them are, uh, I don't want to even say glorified high school stadiums, but you're just kind of in a rundown stadium, just calling a game on the roof sometimes. And uh, that's one that sticks out in my mind is going you know, where am I? And my home stadium was in Batavia, New York, which most people probably couldn't pick out on a map. Um, Cambria County War Memorial is in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and it is actually where they filmed Slapshot. And so you get to go in there and kind of feel like you are in the building where they filmed Slapshot. And they put some new seats in and it looks a little bit nicer, but you still get that feel. Um, and the press box is actually kind of hovering over the bench where if I dropped a pen out of the press box, it would probably hit a player. So it, it's a really cool spot to call a hockey game. Um, Calumet, Michigan, up in the UP, is a place where I got to go for hockey day uh, in America. Um, Craft Hockeyville, I should say, um, with NBC. And just, uh, again, way up in the UP, a place, uh, a beautiful part of the country that I'm glad they sent me to. Um, and a really old building that we got to, uh, Pierre McGuire and I got to spend some time in a really nice, fun downtown to, uh, to meet some people. Pekegama Lake in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, the coldest day of my life, calling Hockey Day Minnesota for Fox Sports North. I was outside for eight hours. It was 37 below and windy by the time it was over. I was calling the game in a, uh, a clamshell tent, which kept collapsing because of the wind. Um, I couldn't feel my feet for at least a full day. Um, I literally got in the car after I'd been outside um, with, uh, turned the heat on, drove three hours back to my hotel in Minnesota, uh, in Minneapolis, and just crawled into the bed still with my coat on because it was just so cold. Uh, it was hard to actually do the game because my water bottle kept freezing. And so uh, I couldn't drink. They tried to bring hot chocolate and it was cold by the time it got to us. And we were just kind of out actually on the lake with no real structures around us. And so we just had to kind of hang out out there for the whole day and do three hockey games. And it was a really fun experience to look back on, but boy, was, was it a cold one. Um, and probably the strangest place I have ever called anything from is a bed. Uh, I believe it was queen size. The reason is I was doing minor league baseball for the Lakewood Blue Claws uh, down the Jersey Shore. And if you know anything about minor league baseball, it's all about sponsorship and all about what you can sell. And somebody in our marketing department came up with the idea to sell sleepies mattresses on a sponsorship. And so they sold them that myself and my partner broadcasting games, sitting behind home plate on a bed. It was made up and had a comforter on it. And we were just randomly sitting on a bed with a table in front of us uh, and called the game. And, uh, you know, like it was, it was a great idea. Uh, it was a little bit hard to do in terms of where we were sitting in the broadcast location. Plus, there was no back support, so you're just kind of sitting on the edge of, the, of a bench, basically, for that long. And we got some really weird looks while we were doing that game. But um, I, that has to be. I don't, I don't think I can pick anything else as the strangest place that I've called a game from.